other streams while I'm doing stuff for the rest of the afternoon. So if any of you are around in other streams like me, if you're planning on streaming later today, um, I will pop in there. I'm not sure what your plans are, but uh, I'm planning on just kind of being around for the rest of the afternoon. Yeah, the Rat's Tale, I, I wonder if there's a Legends of Localization um, article about that. That's, that would be interesting. But we'll go out with this uh, this awesome music here, this awesome Matoya's Cave music is how we'll go out. So I appreciate everybody popping in again, uh, and we'll be back again sometime next week. Alright, here we go. This is Final Fantasy ZZ. We're continuing on today after we class changed at the end of the last stream. And I did a bunch of shopping between then and now. You can see my red wizards are just about fully kitted out with magic. Lots of new spells to look at, although I still have one spell to pick up yet uh, at level 7 here for this character, Hack, the last one. Uh, I did a little bit of equipment shopping, and I also went back into the ice cave to take a look at some of those treasure chests that we missed before. I picked up a couple of other useful things. A look at what I have there. Um, I'm keeping a couple of things around here for their extra properties. But we'll talk about that. Uh, hopefully we aren't going to need too much of that. As uh, you can see, my knights did pick up some charges for their level 1 through 3 spells. I think their max in this version has been up, uh, if I remember correctly. That's one of the things that's been changed in this version. Another thing I did pick up earlier was the bottle. I picked up the bottle. From the from the caravan, use it. Pop a fairy appears and disappears. The caravan has been moved; it's actually hiding now. Uh, but we can 
we'll walk by where the caravan was. I picked that up off stream, as I said. The boom spell that I'm looking for is here, I believe. But this is the town of Gaia. I've already been here and done a lot of the shopping. But I'll look at some of the text. Tips from some of the locals. Weak wizards can use Saber. I think this is where Boom is located. Yes, it is Boom. That's a non-elemental offensive spell. With a pretty high damage rating. Here's the fairy that came out of the bottle that I just used outside of town. You can use that bottle anywhere on the world. Once you've purchased it from the caravan, you can use that bottle and the fairy will appear here. And the fairy gives you Oxygale from the bottom of the spring. And we can't just exit, but I will talk to a few more of the townspeople, just so we can get a, a feel for the, uh, the new color of the translation. Um, I believe that this, uh, that little shortcut that I took to get up to the ferry has been added in this version. Yeah, so this is the hint that you need to go pick up the bottle from the caravan. And there's another hint in town from, I think there's a girl here who says her father runs the caravan. It's a nice one. There was a professor who studied Lepianish. What was his name? Uno N? I forget. I like that. That's a nice piece of, uh, of dialogue. I think one of these girls down here says her father. Elementals are stubborn because they recover hit points. Okay, so they are in the, um, the restoring status. Got Castle in the West to test your courage in, in case you haven't gotten the class change yet. The fairy at the spring was taken. Another dancer. Barren land east of here will terrible enemies. Yeah, and that's a reference to the town of Lepian. And this town is Gaia. Yeah, so there's there's our references to everything we need. So I'm gonna head straight to the east. We're, we're gonna go around the world here. And we'll show you the way to Onrak. So I believe I'm going to make a stop at Onrak, and then I will uh, head up to the waterfall. I, ha I do not know what the waterfall is going to look like. I know the waterfall has been moved, which, which I will show showcase here in a minute. Let's, let's uh, try some of our, our new spells. The only level 8 spells that the Red Wizards can learn are Power and Aura. Power is like a very powerful version of Timber that's a self-targeting spell only. But it's uh, almost three times as powerful as Timber in this, uh, in this version. You can see these guys are resisting the Ice Element, so the boom was much more efficient in dealing damage because it's non-elemental. That's the, that's the advantage of boom. So these guys have the insane resistance, even with five hits and one hit, and at least a critical. We'll do 88. And there are five hits for five damage. Uh, so let's, I'm not sure what they are weak to. Flare is a non-elemental single targeting spell. A spell I didn't pick up, but I, I, I'm kind of wishing I did. Hello, Sandbag X. A spell I kind of wish I had picked up is the Quake spell which is in this version, so I have to take care of that poison. So here's what the other continent looks like, and I hope I'm not spoiling too much Sandbag X. Um, the waterfall is up here. Normally the waterfall is right here, where the ship is. And Onrak is still where it's supposed to be, but they've changed up the map. Normally you can land the airship here, and then take a shorter trip through dangerous ground over to Onrak. Sandbag X, I'm very, very sorry to hear about that, about your loss. My condolences to you. I do appreciate you stopping by today, uh, and I'm very sorry to hear about your loss. I'm just 
gonna use my my powerful spells on these guys. Okay, so you don't mind if I if I spoil the overworld. Well, I'm heading to the waterfall first, and I have not uh, I have not looked up anything about the waterfall, so I have no idea in what ways the waterfall has been changed besides the fact that it's been moved. Um, also, the caravan is now a hidden tile in the desert, and you can't land on it anymore. But I've already visited the caravan. Uh, I did that off-stream, but we will stop by here just so that it's, uh, it's on record that I found it and was able to visit it. If anyone else needs to see where it is, if, if for some reason they're having a hard time finding it. The enemies in the desert are kind of tricky, but with my characters as highly overleveled as they are, uh, they really weren't much of an issue. But I imagine that was part of the design of hiding the caravan in the desert was to force players to more carefully manage their resources. Uh, so the desert becomes kind of a mini dungeon as you're exploring it, trying to find which tile the caravan is. And one thing I just thought of before I started is I don't know, and it would be cool if this could be the case, if the location of the caravan was randomized every time you hit new games, kind of like a uh, like a modern roguelike game. I don't know if that would be practical or even possible. Uh, when hacking an, an NES game to have a randomized tile like that. But I think that would be kind of fun. Alright, this is one of the really nasty fights. I actually fought one of these much earlier in this game. Near where the airship uh, desert is. They were in the swamp that is near the airship desert, and even that has that now has a longer walk to get to. But these, uh, yeah, the, the haunt... And mutant enemies are a new a new enemy set. Obviously, you can see they use the same creep sprite and the bone sprite, but they've been recolored. And I'm not sure which enemies they replaced in the um, in the enemies table. But I do know that uh, some enemies have been just taken out of the pack. I don't remember which. That's all in the readme. Yeah, you don't think it was randomized? I, I don't think it was randomized either. It was somewhere up in this corner of the desert. I won't look for it too long, just so that we can get onto the waterfall. But I'll see if I can run into it so we have a better idea of where it is. Yeah, I don't think it was randomized either, but that would be kind of a fun feature if it was randomized. Okay, it replaced the creep and one other enemy. Okay. I know that that is all in the in the readme that, that certain enemies have been have been taken out. I think the mad ponies are gone. Uh, this is all off the top of my head though, so I shouldn't speak uh, I shouldn't speak too much. I shouldn't conjecture too much. Okay, Mad Pony was replaced by another enemy. These guys are kind of nasty. I'm going to use the Mute spell, hoping to stop them from casting their Ice 2. And as I say that, they get off their Ice 2, although I'm resisting the elemental stuff pretty well by this point in the game. But buying the Slow and Mute... Wow, I missed them all. Buying the Slow and Mute spells were what was really a, a step up for me. That's one of the big differences I noticed in this in this version of the game. The more I've looked at it, is that debuffs actually finally become useful. Where in the uh, NES version, you very rarely would bother with debuffs. I'm using the light axe on that top knight. I need to watch his damage a little more carefully. I haven't really tried much with him. He should be doing a pretty good amount of damage with that light axe. Uh, as long as the misses don't happen too often. But I do have access to the heal staff now, so I can get a little bit of free healing. So that's something you can do once you have uh, a, a magely type enemy muted and uh, physical type enemy slowed. I think I'm just going to give up, but trust me that the, the caravan is up there. It's up there somewhere. 
but it's a good way to recover if you do have a, a random battle where you can totally neuter your opponents with things like Mute and Slow. That was a nasty attack, although I have the Life Spell now. So finally, finally, finally that I have access to the Life Spell. It's not as critical for my for my characters to all stay alive. If this was a dungeon crawl, it would not suddenly be over losing a fighter like that. Which I have to say is very nice. Point eight on the Richter scale, yes. Yeah, that tre that tremor ability is pretty nasty. I'm thankful that it's only single targeting. That tremor is a. I I'm fairly certain that that's a new ability that's been built in by the ZZ hackers. Or I should say ZZ himself. See if I can see if I can mute this guy. I think it's the rock golem who uses the tremor attack. Alright, he attacked that time. So I can either mute him or just kill him in the first round, that'd be okay too. Yeah, it's Earth Elemental. I I'm guessing it's Earth Elemental. And uh, yeah, I again I should have Although I did get the Quake spell because I, when I was buying my, I think it's a level 5 black spell, that red wizard can equip only, not red mages. Um, when I was buying my level 5 magic, I didn't look closely enough at the, the stats for Quake. And then I realized after I'd already filled up my level 5 spot, I went, oh shoot, I probably should have gotten Quake instead of one of the other ones I got. I can't remember which one I was thinking to replace it with, but... Certainly not light, but uh, something else of that vein. So I'm going to restock and replenish here and unrack. And then we'll head up to the waterfall. I'll save here as well. The inn here is quite a bit more expensive than it used to be. And you can see my gold uh, is quite quite depleted from where it was when we last stopped. I did have all nine. Nine, 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 straight across the board at the end of last stream. But buying all of that magic for my mages and stocking up on... Oh, they, here's houses are available here for 5,000. Okay, that's something I wasn't sure uh, if houses were ever going to be available in this version. But they are here for 5,000. So here it's 1,000 gold to, to stay. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's that expensive in the NES version. I don't think it is. I think it gets up to 500 or something up here. But I might be wrong about that. So let's take a look at this waterfall. Although I'm going to have quite a, quite a gauntlet of river monsters before I can get there. I don't want to use an Ice 2 spell already. So let's just see if we can get the Sorias quickly. I might regret trying to save my Ice 2 charges because they can use the stone attack. You can avoid overworld enemies by, by using tents and resetting to, to reset the step counter between saves. Yeah, that would be that would be one way you could do it. I suppose that would be if you are in a if you want to do a low level attempt at uh, one one of the versions of this game. That would be the way to do it, I suppose. If you're trying to avoid getting experience from unrunnable enemy sets. And yeah, with this with this party, uh, I want all the experience I can pick up. And the enemies aren't as threatening to me as they once would have been. This one looks to be runnable. Who has my coward staff? He 
doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. I must have missed it. Oh, he has the coward staff. There we go. So I'll see if I can fire off a, a heal staff charge here. Nope. If counters that are runnable, I will be will be running from if they if there's bigger groups of enemies that uh, that might be status using status effects on me. The coward staff will be a guaranteed run, so when that red mage gets a turn, it will be a, uh, a guaranteed run. Because it casts the spell Run! Exclamation mark. Which just takes any battle that is runnable and gets you out of there. And I'm glad to be out of this one, because these guys can do poison and they can do the area of effect damage. I'm glad I got out of there with just one poison. And here is the waterfall. Can I use a tent cabin out here? Yes, I can use that in the, in the canoe. I did not know if I could use a tent while in the canoe. Alright, so I imagine that this is going to be a common fight in here. Alright, so I have two, I have two, uh, two charges for all of those. Now, that's good. Let's try that and see if I can use those fighter charges first. Thank you for the good luck wish, Sandbag. I'm really hoping to hit those mages with my silence. Alright, I hit the bad man with the silence. Not uh, exactly what I wanted. Alright, so he dodged the warp. The pro rings are on the fighters right now. I think I probably will switch the pro rings over to my mages since they can cast the life spell. Yeah, so there we go. Maybe he didn't have the, the pro ring on. And that's what I was hoping to mute these guys before they could start that kind of nonsense. But the I'm guessing the lower intelligence of the fighter made uh, made the mute miss. So let's see if we can hit with one of these. Okay, so I got that top one and I got the bottom one. And the bad man's already been silent. So if I can go after that middle mage now with my remaining characters, it should be good. And uh, yeah, if all of the fights in here are as nasty as this, this could be a, a big one. This could be a bad dungeon. Avoid negate resistances? I did not know that, Sandbag. I didn't know that that penetrates. I thought that I had... I thought that I had seen that, uh, that the pro ring do protect from Void, but, uh... I'd have to look... I'd have to look at that. I'm not going to now, but... Because either way, that fighter is dead, dead, dead. But I guess if I see he has a pro ring on, then I'll know that it cuts through distance through defenses. But this would be a battle that, if I was running low on resources, I could, at the end of the battle, in a time like this, when it's just that one silent mage left, I could, uh, I could restore a lot of hit points if I had everybody alive. Because they can't do very much damage at all, and I can get these heal staff and cure staff uses off. That'd be a little bit better if I had more characters alive. But I will get just a little bit of health back here before we move on. White staff won't restore very much, but uh, but mute is really very effective on these guys. Or, uh, it blocks not only their, the regular spells that they cast, but also their abilities. It also blocks their abilities. Uh, and when the abilities are as nasty as this, you need all the help you can get. And he's gonna be pretty close to full health. I'll use it one more time in this case. Let's try to get some free healing. And we finally reach the end. So there's one battle down. One fighter dead. Let me see if that fighter 
Yeah, you sure enough did have a pro ring, so Void did Void did penetrate his resistance. That's uh That's unlucky news. That's okay though. I hope I don't run out of life charges running through this dungeon, but we will see. I do have exit. I do have exit, so uh, I should be okay. Yes, that would be something you would put in. Gonna get the quick restore here. This is something that, of course, is also a problem in vanilla when you have higher level characters that are losing a lot of hit points. It becomes kind of a drain on your resources. Your potions start to run low. Okay, this battle I've done before. I know this battle. I'm okay with this battle. Um, I'm gonna... I don't like that my Fire 3 is on the same spell level as Life, because I'm feeling gonna need those... Um, in, a, in a big way. So let me see what two Fire 2s will do. I haven't tried two Fire 2s, but I should, with the, with the fighters attacking the dragon, in addition to two Fire 2s, I should be able to get the dragons out this round. And the big, the big uncertainty will be the, the vampires. Because the zombie dragons can really do a ton of damage, and they can also do curse, which is, uh, can, can incapacitate your character pretty quickly. So this is actually a tougher battle than it normally would be when I would not be needing to hoard my spell charges at the fire 3 level. Let's just take out the gargoyle, and it ought to get the vampires. gonna have to be methodical about this dungeon like like every dungeon in this game. And I may have to do it in a couple of pieces. And that's okay if I do. I'm not in any rush. I have to explore every nook and cranny I come across because I don't know how much this has been changed. Yeah, X Death is on that same spell level, so I'm going to save that if I can too. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's why the. I'm wondering if Void. I wonder if Void is the reason that that he could get hit with the with the attack, uh, even with the pro ring. By that miss. But that one missed too. Wow, that was a nice, uh, that was a nice damage attack. Let's see if I can get another couple of those mages. All these guys are pretty deadly. But I wonder if Void would would nerf the protection from the Pro Ring. I bet it does. And I, yeah, that's just that's a really rough spell to have to eat. See if I can get these guys quickly. All right. and get that nightmare out of here before it can do too much damage to me. Alright, that's okay. 
I don't so much mind that. I haven't really gone after that nightmare yet, so that doesn't really hurt my progress in this battle too much. Still got him this round. Do cure two and a heal staff. See if we can get a good uh, a good turn order here. Heal staff first is nice. That kind of removes the benefit a little bit. Got hope for a good turn order in battles like this. Yeah, that's, I'm. I agree with you there, Sandbag. I'm wondering if that's what uh, if that's what that does. If that's why it's uh, why some of the elemental spells are doing a ton of damage, and why I'm getting hit with the uh, the nasty death attacks and that when it takes your defenses away from your equipment. I'm just I'm wondering if that's the case, and it seems that that is the case. Um, I'm going to try a Fire 3 and a Fire 2, because that last time I fought this one, that was really, 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 really draining on my hit points. So if I can end this around early, it might be worth burning a Fire 3 charge. I hope I don't need... If I need end up needing to use more than 11 or 12 life spells, then uh, I'll probably will need to have cast Exit before that anyway, I'm thinking. And if this can help with some of the, the damage I'm taking, and even help me win it in the first round, that makes a big difference. And I think he will have gotten, at level 37, he should have gotten, yeah, he has an extra spell charge at that level now. So no matter what happens in here... Alright. So this is a nasty one. Let's see if I can get Mute off from both of these guys. And we'll do one of these, we'll do a Fire 2 spell. Because I do have the Zeus Gauntlet, I can cast Lit 2 on enemies. I'm fine with that. But uh, that's not going to do me much help down here. But if I can silence them, that will stop their glance attacks. So it's just the top left Medusa that I need to worry about for glance attacks. And they don't appear to be weak to fire. It's going to be ineffective on a lot of them. Okay, so it even it missed the one that uh, my other mute spell missed. All right, so that was just a status attack stone. And I don't know if this one... Okay, the Medusas do have a status attack stone, it looks like. So I won't... I'm going to have to pull out my... My big ones here. My big spell guns. To try to just get out of the... Get out of this battle. Boom should really help a lot. That was a nice damage roll. Alright, they all three got spells off and missed the stoning ability. Not much damage from lit three. Huge experience for those guys. As as has been the case the entire game, my red mages who have been in the back row for most of the game have been way ahead of my fighters in experience. You can see they just hit level 40 and my fighters are just hitting 37.
Alright, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try to look... Nope, okay, so I, ha I do have to go up and around farther, it looks like. So the, so the dungeon floor has been adjusted, as I would have expected it to be. Okay, I got the top mage with silence. Okay, and the nightmares are the ones casting void, which is a very good slash bad ability for them to use in conjunction with these mage enemies. That was a very clever combination. Okay, so that mage missed his warp. Yeah, a white, yeah. I sure could use a white mage now, yes. You know, I, again, I've, I've talked about this a little bit on the forums for this game, too. Uh, where we've been kind of talking about it with ZZ and a few other folks. That, that I, you know, I started this blind with with this party. Um, and if I had done more research, I would not have picked this party. But I think, I, I'm sure I'll be able to finish it with this party. And, and I, everyone who's played this game agrees that I should be able to finish it with this party. But it, it's definitely not the easiest experience, and they're not the most versatile set of characters. The Red Mages certainly are not as versatile as they were in uh, in vanilla. I'm going to heal up a little bit. So yeah, I wish, I probably, sh if, if, if I do this again, and I'll probably play the game again, I don't know if I'll stream it again, but I'll probably play this hack again. I will probably go with something like Fighter, Thief, White Mage, Black Mage is probably the party I will pick. Alright, here's another one of these. Let's, uh, let's spread our Fire 3 usage around. Good, glad we got uh, one of the dragons on the first shot. Let's see if we can take out that dragon before he gets a fasted attack off on me. Now, the Fire 2 in conjunction with the Fire 3 should help. And it might even take out that dragon. I hope it does. Okay, it just barely did. Those zombie dragons, I I haven't checked in the in the stats, but uh, it seems like they are still weak to fire, but they have a pretty high magic defense stat. When you fight the zombie dragons paired with... Alright, so even that's not quite enough yet. There's been a few false starts like that. Okay, no escape. Actually, this battle is a lot easier than the last one. This has been probably the easiest battle that I've run into in this dungeon. I wish they I wish they were all like this, but I think so far all of the battles in the waterfall have been unrunnable. Um I think. I'm trying to think if I've run into one that has been runnable. I don't think I have. A little bit of free healing there. I was hoping to fire off the heal staff to get a little bit from everybody, but... Not the case. Let's see if I can just get these guys with straight damage. Alright, I can get one with straight damage. Rather than worrying about trying to silence them. Okay, good. Now the nightmares and bad men are no are no picnic. But if there's just two mages and I can get them in the first round without trying to silence them, that would save me some of my spell charges. Which I will probably need as we go through, because the, the battles with three mages when I might not want to take them down in one round. I can still rely on silence. Let's see if we can get a little bit of free healing. That darkness works in this in this hack, so only two hits on that guy. You know what, that makes me think. I, I think I will move the light axe to my second position fighter. Um, looking at that, I want to trade. 
Um, if he's going to be more of a target for all of those stats, not just darkness, but also stun and everything else that uh, will take him out of being my, my best fighter. That's probably a standard bit of uh, FF1 strategy that that I'm finally, finally getting to here. These Hellbats are nasty. They can do stuff like... Uh, they do big fasted attacks and the like. Let's do a couple of Fire 2s. The Hellbats won't take much damage from Fire 2s. Yes, they do things like that. They do things like slow, and they can fast themselves, I believe. But hopefully both of the Fire 2s take out the vampires, and uh, yeah, the Hellbats resist the fire. Okay, good rolls, good rolls, good rolls. Alright, two of them is okay. And see, it, he's down to one hit. They're just, their damage is just completely nerfed. All of these guys. Oh, I should have used the free staff. Forgot about that. And I should have used a magic attack there. Alright, and my... Okay. That fighter got nerfed too. So statuses are much more a feature in this, in this game. And now I'm not sure... Let me see if that last character is, is still poisoned. Anything here I want to use. Holy will do a little bit of damage to them. Okay, so that last guy is was paralyzed. Holy will do a little bit. At least it'll hit both of them. Let's try to get a little bit of health back here, and then uh, we'll have to heal up. Poison is a lot stronger in this game. Poison, I think in vanilla, it just does one hit point of damage every round, but here it does uh, a percentage. I think it's some... Uh, I can't remember if it's something like 15% of your health. Maybe that's too high. But it, uh, it does a percentage of your health. Now... Oops, he's only at 384. So I fully expect the final dungeon of this game to be a really nasty experience. Okay, we are, we are to a room. And three zombies, it's like a dream come true. I'll take this battle any day. And what I might do, if I can get it just down to one zombie. Maybe I'll slow him, and then uh, and use my heal staff to get uh, some free healing. Okay, didn't hit on either of them there. I was hoping to be able to farm this last one for health, but... Uh, I probably shouldn't, but I will get a little bit of free health from him. If I had been able to land slow on one or the other of them, I would have probably tried to farm them, but that's okay. Now I expect I won't be able to get the treasures in here without facing off against some kind of nasty, just based on what I've experienced already with this particular hack. Yeah, I'm I'm trying um, trying not to find too many spoilers for the end of the game. So thank you for not spoiling that sandbag. I've seen reference to a couple things, but I'm I'm trying to not have them spoiled before that last stream. All right, let's see if there's something nasty guarding the room. Okay, uh, the blue D and gas D. So let's get our barriers up right away. Uh, who has X? X barrier. He has X death, and I'll X bar for you. Let's see if I can get the attacks up. 
quickly. Alright, so that should defend against the poison. If they use their poison breath attack. So finally I have my red mages acting like white mages. And there we go, I'm glad I got the poison up because that's going to block that. Alright, so this should be much more manageable now. Actually, let's... Let's just go after all these... Okay, gas dragons were a group eight encounter. Was that? Uh, do you mean here in the in the waterfall sandbag? They were a group eight encounter in this tile set. Because I remember running into the gas dragon set in the Temple of Fiends revisited, but I don't think I ever saw them anywhere else. And I. I I don't think I ever saw them paired with the blue D. I think I usually would see groups of three or three or four gas Ds in uh, in the Temple of Fiends revisited. Yeah, in uh, the NES version. Yes. Are these all going to be protected? Okay. They were group eight in the waterfall. Okay, so they were they were around here, huh? Um. So I think it's just going to be X Death that's the one that uh, will resist these. Um, yeah, so let's go... Let's go with Boom. Ooh, okay. So one poison is off. Let's hope we can get the defense off before okay the other the other dragon went to attack instead of poisoning me instead of using the poison ability and then now the x death defense is more or less moot let's see if i can just finish the battle here quickly all right there's the mud golem down and the gas d down okay So, if all of these are defended, I could be in trouble. I'm just going to use as much healing as I have here. But if all of these are protected by nasty guys, this could be kind of a white knuckle encounter here. If I'm going to have to do this kind of healing after every fight. Alright, let's see what I pick up at least. Alright, ribbon. I will take that ribbon. I was ready to drop this. Alright, and let's get it equipped. Alright, so I've got that set. Um, and Pro Rings on everyone else. So we're okay there. Alright, and as I thought, this is also defended, and we're gonna have to fight the Ds again, the, the Gas Ds again. Um, and I might just have... One of these guys cast Fire 3, and one cast Ice 3. Oh, I'm going to have to switch them because they both don't have Ice 3. So, Ice 3, and Fire 3. Yeah, I was thinking about that, Sandbag X. Ribbons aren't, uh, it doesn't seem like they're a necessary item because you have access to x Death and, um, and X-Bar to kind of simulate the effect, but... Good to uh, good for the for the battles when you can't use that. I, I assume that's what you mean by that, that they're not as powerful but still essential. Because I was thinking about that for the final battle, that it won't be quite so essential to have ribbons ready for everybody when I can 
in the first round get all of the same resistances up on all my characters. And let's just continue, see if I can get a little bit of free healing here. Good. Even just those 20, and as long as I get an attack here next before he's able to damage us, I will be... I'll be happy. Good. That worked out in my favor. I shouldn't have to do any healing. Okay, Wizard Staff. Um, I knew I was going to have to be dropping some of these things. Um, so let's just get rid of one of these one of these flame staffs, one of these fire one staffs, staves. And I'm going to have to fight this gas D battle again. Right here. Alright. I'm going to have him use an upper level spell. And we'll have We'll have you use X death. All right, good. All right, doing great damage. That's good. So those gas keys should just go down to one hit each now. After solid damage from that spell. So again, I'm glad. Um, I'm glad now that I am over leveled because I'm doing this on stream. Uh, if I was doing this at the level where you normally would be with this, I probably would have to go in, fight a couple of these battles, and then uh, and then warp out and try again. Uh, and I still may have to do that, but we'll see. All right, I've already got this one. That was the ribbon, I believe. Okay, and that one's not protected. Okay, money, money. Okay, eyes and ghosts. Uh, this will be worth a fire three. And I believe you can afford a fire three as well. But again, I, I probably would have to do multiple attempts at this. I probably would have gotten wiped out, run out of resources, run out of healing. and would have to do a couple of attempts. So I'm glad that on stream, with my overleveled characters, I can explore this in a, in a smooth way that uh, anyone who pops in to watch now or the, the video on demand can see kind of a, a smooth run through this dungeon. Now I am prepared to take things kind of conservatively. Uh, if need be. Hyper Knife. Let me see if anyone can equip that. I'm gonna check the, the readme. Okay. Hyper Knife is... Okay. Red Wizards can't equip it and it can't lock. Looks like it has lock when used, and it has 18 and 43. Alright, I will grab it, just in case I end up needing it later. Um, so I will drop this extra... I'll, I'll drop this extra battle sword, I believe. All well, the other ones I want to keep. If I can. The battle sword is expensive. And I'm going to try... I'm gonna, oops. I wanted to grab the cube, and I need to get to this chest, fight this battle, which I'm sure there is. Well, you know what? I did not heal between. Uh-oh, this is bad. I'm going to have both of these guys cast x depth to try to defend. I didn't heal between these fights. I forgot to heal. Glad I got the defense up, but uh, my second position fighter probably is going to be dead. He'll probably take an attack and die. That was uh, that was silly of me. Yeah. 
Now I need to be careful. I'm actually going to use the Aura spell. Use these, these eight level spells for my Red Mages just to try to survive this fight. Try to do as much damage to that fighter as I can, but give him up probably for lost. And let's power ourselves up. Hello, Shahali. Thank you for popping in. I'm practicing my 8th level spells here. And these guys with 8th with level spells should be pretty unstoppable. Now, Bet will get this dragon here in the, in one round. Very good. This is becoming quite a tense fight. Ooh, Quake, I'm glad that didn't do more damage. That could have been nasty. I should have spread the attacks out there. I wasn't sure what they were going to do to the Mud Golems, but uh, we should be okay here. And I should be able to exit out with no problems. White sword. I'm going to want that. Um, so I think the one I'm going to want to drop is the the snow staff because I don't think I'll need to ever cast just regular ice from these guys. Just regular ice one. We'll pick up the white sword and out. Let's get. I got the cube. Let's make sure I got the cube. Yes. Let's get out of here and let's save. I'm gonna do some curing here just to try to uh, get us back to town if we can. I'm totally out of heal potions. I'll have to take another look at my equipment set here. I wasn't sure what I was going to find in there. So I'll have to take a look at what I have for equipment. Okay, and I'm limited on curing here. That's one thing that I, I am a little bit um, too light on the cure department on the healing with this party. Uh, part of that's the way I did my spells. I didn't pick up the extra heal spells. Who has the coward staff? Let's just get out of here. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is head on into the the undersea palace, water water te temple, whatever you want to call it. Let me bop this around. I thought that my red mages would be able to handle a little bit more punishment. That's why I put them up there in the front. Let me just get out. Glad I saved, in case I do get uh, a character or two knocked out here. But that was very, very close. But I was thinking, I didn't heal up there, but I didn't really have a ton of healing before that last battle. I was totally out of heal potions. Totally out. Um, and had very few cure spells left. I had a couple, I guess I had like four cure twos from one of the characters and, and ten cure ones from another another one. All right, glad I used the coward staff. I'm glad I was able to survive that one. But I wouldn't have been able to get too much extra health onto those guys. So this is inescapable. But I'll have one use ice three, 
when you use Fire 3. That should take out just about everybody. I think the Ice 3 should get all the Sorias. Okay. Missed one of them. The Fire 3 should take out the Giant, and it may get the Soria even with the resistance to fire, yeah. Yeah, ZZ and Hack hitting level 41 is pretty funny. Alright, so we're back to restocking on our potions. And we'll take on as much of the Water Temple as we can. I've got about two hours left 